Welcome to Mono Tutorials. In this session, we're going to be looking at the AI Material Generator. So quickly, let's jump in. So, first we need to go to Mona Library, which is here. Go to Mona Tools here, and then click on the AI Material Generator here. Here you might have some assets that you need to import, so make sure to go uh, yes to all of that, and then go Import or OK. Then you can close that. And then we can go to Mona Tools AI Material Generator here. First, we need to sign in. To do that, we need to go get API key. And with that, we can sign in up here. So sign in to use your GitHub account. So you'll need a GitHub account to use the replicate sign in. Uh, move over to account. And then we have our API token. So grab this like that using the copy tool here or just control C and then you can close that and then copy it into the replicate API key, pasting it with control V here. After that, we can go save API key. Next up, you can enter your prompt here. I will be using the same one that I've used for the tutorial so far. You can get more information about good prompt guides using this button here. Once you have your information in there, you can use imagine texture take a little bit of time. Now note every time you imagine a texture or generate an image in the AI material designer, that will cost a cost time and therefore credits. Every user has free credits to start, but eventually you'll need to sign up to the replicate ecosystem in order to keep using their cloud for processing. That's done. Next up, we can move to generate maps. So first, if you want to generate a map, you need to include it and then press generate. If you generate it and don't want it, you can actually undo the include as well. Down here, you'll note what it's doing. As long as it's processing, it should be fine. Uh, sometimes the first one will take a little bit of time, uh, whereas other ones will be a lot shorter. Generally speaking, most standard materials will have a normal and uh, a smoothness map. Height and ambient occlusion are there but those textures will add size to your material, so only use them when you really need them. You will note that sometimes these will have artifacting, but a lot of the time you don't actually see these in the result, so that should be fine. Uh, once those are done, and I want to include both of those, I will move to Create Material, uh, where I can see the results. Uh, I can use it on a cube. I can also use it on a cylinder. I can adjust the tiling if I want to. The metallic value won't be present in the preview because for metallic to work, you need an environment around it to reflect. Uh, that said, this is a good start. If you want to sort of set that up now, uh, you can of course do it in the material afterwards. You also have shaded types such as standard procedural sampling, triplanar and uh, triplanar procedural sampling. Generally speaking, standard is the way to go. And then, of course, you can change the name of your material before creating it. Done. So, to find it, you will find it in the Mona Library, AI Materials, Leaves, and then you'll have your material, Albedo, Texture, Metallic Smoothness, and Normal Map. And you have your result. If you need to modify any of the settings, you can do that right here. That is the AI Material Designer. Happy building.